to new wrong video guys so now let's get started today in this video i will show you how can we install the nusantara project which is 2.5.1 version and this version is on zar format and you guys already know uh, in twrp we already ha have only two options which is zip format and image format and zar format we can't flash and this th rom you guys when you, you guys will download that rom and you guys will get a zar file and let me show you that file you guys can see here we all the ROM we have in zip format but this Nusantara project official version and we when you guys will download that version you guys will get ZAR format you guys will get that Nusantara project in ZAR format so uh, I thought I think I thought I should show you guys how can we change that so that's why I am doing this show and showing you guys just select that file and go to rename just delete some words uh, or letter from the end so i'm stopping here just official and just put a dot there and type zip so you guys can see just click on right okay done So now you guys can see we have in zip format Nusantara. So now we can flash that room. Otherwise we can't flash that. So now move on to the TWRP. Just click on reboot. Press and hold the power up button until you boot on TWRP. So you guys can see we are on TWRP which is Orange Fox. And I always recommend you guys to use that one, which is very latest, 11.0.3, and and already I have provided that one. You guys get the link in description. So we are on TWRP, and what we need to do now, we are going to wipe and then going to format because we have uh, Android 10 installed on my device right now. So I am going to Android 11. And I'm upgrading the Android version, so I need to format data. Remember that thing. Just go to wipe, select Dalbic, like as always we do. Now move on to format data and type yes. Now type yes and select to format and when we are done just reboot to recovery and if you don't want to do then it's not a problem so i'm not doing this now just select the rom file you have stored so here is mine you guys can see the nusantara and remember one thing nusantara is a vanilla version and vanilla means uh, where we don't have any google play store so you guys need to install g apps manually and i will show that and i will drop the link of that g apps link in description too so now flash the rom and wait until so wait until the process has finished so flash has done you guys can see and remember one thing this is android 11 so flash the z apps which is belongs to android 11 don't flash android 10 g apps otherwise you will face boot loop so now select the g apps you guys can see here android 11 arm 64 11 you guys can see which is pico version i am selecting now swiping to flash So you guys can see flash almost done now what we need to do just click on reboot system 
and if you guys want to root then uh, just let your device boot first then get back to TWRP again and then flush magics I will also drop the link of uh, magics file in description no problem which is flash has done now we can reboot our device and if you guys want to root your device then I will drop the magics link in description and you guys already have that magics because in previous uh, videos of my room review I already provided that uh, magic file if you guys have that file so no problem don't flash lower version of 21.4 or 20.21 point something don't flash because this is Android 11 and Android 11 supports only 21 point something so don't flash the lower version otherwise your device will not boot so now click on reboot system So it will take some time and wait until the device is booted. So wait until device boots up and you guys can see the Nusantara logo. So device is booting finally. No issues on that and I am uh, skipping that video now. It will take some time so I am going to skip the video now. So you guys can see finally device is booted and after completing setup I will show you guys the features and what's new in Android 11 and what's working and what's not working and uh, everything uh, if I get any bug then I will I will tell that back with the review of Nusantara 2.5.1 version which is uh, very latest and uh, based on Android 11 and you guys already watched the installation process of this room and now I'm I'm going to show you guys some features and reviews and what's working and what's not and uh, I can clearly say that this is gonna be the one of the best room for you guys if you are uh, uh, finding a custom room to use in daily life so let's get started from the setting and first of all you guys can uh, see the changes on setting menu you guys can see the category here there is one bottom steps here here is the border here is the border and they have divided some uh, functions in some category so this uh, looks really cool and we will talk about later in this video on uh, that sections and let me show you the about section and this is redmi 7 and you guys can use uh, on redmi y3 as well no problem and this is android 11 of course and the kernel is ceylon tier and this is no issues and i will uh, talk about gaming i have played games on that rom and you guys can see here i have installed call of duty and now let's start from the setting and airplane mode working fine wi-fi working pretty much fine no issues and network and connection that also working pretty much fine no problem i'm using one sim here you guys can use two sim no problem and hotspot perfectly working no issues and notification settings you guys can enable these features you guys already know so i am not going to talk about that and sound as usual the regular and do not disturb is working and screen timeout the uh, which is internal uh, feature and they bring that uh, in outside so you guys can see and you guys can change the time no problem and now let's check out the setting and we have AOSP uh, built-in uh, keyboard and gesture is working pretty much fine everything no issue and let's come to the main point and which is Nusantara parts and you guys can see everything here feature and FPS info you guys can enable that feature from here or from the status bar and let me show you guys here is two FPS info and this one is not working just click on that this one is working pretty much fine and you guys can see on the and in 30 fps so there's hey there issue. subscribe to my channel and, and also press and this bell icon pretty much fine. and let me uh, uh, check out you guys the night light and this one is not working night light this is the issue with nusantara from the beginning so uh, don't worry about it I, I don't need that feature actually so and but the dark mode is pretty much fine working no issues so you guys can see it's pretty much fine oh 
and now check out the themes you guys can change so many things here and you can customize as you want and notifications the regular features and here you can see the miscellaneous and the gaming mode is working fine no issues and you guys can change the screen of animation here and double tap to sleep everything is just working fine and one important thing is that uh, in we have a problem on custom room that we don't have any built-in uh, app locker but in this build we have that option by default so no issues and fingerprint you guys can change here so many things you guys already know about if you are using Anusantara for a few days or for a long time then you guys already know the features everything so I uh, don't want to waste time and the traffic indicator everything is working fine no issues and quick settings you just have a look an icon manager and you guys can change the logos yeah? I, I have enabled this logo here and the last one you guys can see buttons navigations so many things are there and let me show you the safety net uh, issue uh, is there it's safe or not and let me check out that safety net application let, let's run the test so you guys can see uh, it, it's passed and you guys can see here your mi90 and i'm using one module that's why her device model got changed uh, I use that module for uh, playing games uh, to enable high graphics so no no problem on that and we have by default QP gallery and which is pretty much good gallery application I can recommend you guys and let's come to the uh, Google camera and it's working pretty much fine which is built from Arnova this is Arnova built and everything is just working fine and which we need actually the night side and the portrait uh, and it uh, it's a bit laggy you guys can see here now this Gcam is a bit laggy and by default we have Gcam Go so no issues on that actually and this is Arnova's Gcam and uh, it may lag sometimes but I tested that it, it, it it's working no problem and you guys can see uh, I have taken a 4k video and you guys can record 4k videos on uh, GCAM 8.1 and I'll show it later and some photos is, will be there so you guys can see I have captured that photo so you guys can see the details it's pretty much fine this GCAM Arnova is a great builder you guys know so now let's check out the 8.1 version this is 8.1 version and it is very latest and you guys can change the color everything is 0 0.9 you guys can switch and this one and you guys can record video and let me show you you guys can record up to 4k video no issues and uh, 1080p 3060 everything is just working pretty much fine and camera and the portrait mode is just pretty much fine and I have already showed you guys a portrait shot and night mode is also working let me show you so photo clicked and it will process for some time and then it will be okay so now you guys can check that out and it's also processing right you guys can see SDR plus is processing here so I'll give it a time and it will be okay so after that what do we need to show this room is just pretty much fine and faster and one important thing after if you want to root your device then after flashing magis just go to setting and just scroll down and just come here magix height just enable that magix height and then re reboot your device and your device will be set to fast so no issues on that and let me show you the photo i have captured now so this is the photo now you guys can see even if uh, it captured the dust so <laughs> this is amazing guys so that's gcam and if you guys need that gcam then i will drop the link in description and everything so 
and let me show you the last thing and which is very important for you guys you guys can um, lock your application just press and hold and go to setting and just go miscellaneous and you guys can see hidden and protected apps just click on that and if you want to hide any application just click on that and it will be hidden and you guys can unlock it from here so that's the thing actually guys how it does it work and let me show you and the, you guys can see call of duty is now protected so let me show you here you guys can see application is hidden and if you want to get it back then just go here and click and click on that so now what will happen it will show here but when you want to open it it will ask permission uh, which is password actually guys so this is how it works and I think uh, I clearly explain everything and you guys will not uh, bore on that video so uh, thank you for you, your support guys and I need more support from you guys please do subscribe and hit the bell icon and please don't miss the further videos so thank you for watching guys